Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is Show Me the Market. A uh, very appropriate title considering we've got all this incredible data going on and everybody's like, but where's this bull market? Uh, you know, last year uh, uh, we saw uh, a lot of momentum in the market, uh, a lot of big news in terms of tax cuts and repatriation. Uh, deregulation. We've been experiencing all that in continuation of this year, and uh, the market has been very uncertain. Mm -hmm. uh, the bulls and bears have really been battling it out here, uh, uh, right. trying to determine who's going to put the stake in the ground and lay claim to this year. Yeah. So, Bobby, you you came at me uh, full steam this morning uh, with a lot of market data and sounded like really good news. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, earnings continued to come in really strong, but the indexes were flat to down. And mm -hmm. so, show uh, me the market. That's, <laughs> like I said, it's after <laughs> strong earnings. And so, we talked about last week. Uh, I will say on Friday, we had a really good GDP number. Right. And so, mm -hmm. that was a positive. Uh, GDP came in 2.3%. Right. This time last year, first quarter, 1.2%. So, the economy is growing much stronger than sure. it was. Uh, and then, obviously, the highlight was business investment. And so, tax reform is working. Businesses are reinvesting, using that tax, the tax cuts to the benefits. So, we're starting to see that. Sure. Really good news there. La labor market's tight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And then this week, we are loaded with economic news. So, right. uh, Monday, uh, personal income, and then also pending home sales. So, we'll get to be able to see what are yields doing? What impact are yields having on the housing market? Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, manufacturing. Wednesday, mortgage applications. Uh, then the Fed speaks. We expect sure. no action mm -hmm. by the Fed on Wednesday. Thursday, productivity and factory orders. Right. And then Friday, uh, the big jobs report and unemployment number. So, you know, we're seeing strong earnings. We're seeing some really good uh, economic reports. The economy is growing. And it goes back to the topic. Show me the market. You have right. everything. The market has everything it needs. And it's it just let's it get some falling. action here. It does. It's, right. it's not like it's falling off a cliff. It's just kind of coming down. It, 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 even though you're getting great news up, it just either stays flat or comes down a little bit. Absolutely. Well, and that also, you know, the old saying, a bull market climbs a wall of worry. You know, where, sure. where's the wall of worry here? Is it North Korea? You know, what's going on there? Right. Is it Syria? Is it the tariffs? Uh, all these, mm -hmm. these things that cause us to worry. But in reality, behind the scenes... A lot of positive things. Yeah, yeah I kind of want to pull a couple of data points out of what Bob, the, the long list of information okay. is coming out sure. this week. It's a lot. Two, two little, two things that are usually not too large to look at. The trade report, which uh, comes out on Thursday, typically not too focused on month-to-month trade, but oh. with so much talk about tariffs. And I believe that our, our fearless leader, President Trump, is definitely focusing on the trade report. So that may draw a little more news than normal. And right. so you may see some, some volatility around that. Uh, the Fed meeting, uh, the announcement that Federal Reserve setting, whether or not they're going to rise short-term interest rates that we see on cash, mm -hmm. very unlikely to be anything. But typically these Fed meetings where there's not a press conference are kind of washed over. But this one's going to get a lot of focus because, we again, we're still breaking in a new Fed, new, new head of the chairman of the Every, Federal Reserve. Everybody's trying to figure them out. Exactly. And there's new members coming in, kind of squabbling a little bit. So that's going to be more focused on. Then the GDP number, the investment number is good. But the other side of investment is typically companies that have all this cash. They have two ways to spend it, kind of. They can either spend it on investing and longer term growth. That's good. But then they also typically spend it on buying back their own stock, which is great for the short term market. And that's something we have not seen this year. Right. So while they're spending uh, GDP growth, spending it on investment, they're not buying back their shares, which has usually been a very good floor. And then while earnings are happening, there's a blackout window where, where companies cannot buy their own shares. Which we've been in. Which we, we've been in right now. Company Earnings are great. Companies know that. You can't buy your stock one day and they report great earnings the next day. It makes sense. But uh, that also has reduced the, what is normally a very large piece of demand in the market. Right. So we'll see as earnings come to a close, we may see companies starting to buy back their stock again. Uh, you know, so, and we'll see this week how, how all this kind of plays out. But you know, like you said, Great information. No a lot market, of positives. No more tremendous, yeah. tremendous amount of positives. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and if with money coming into the market for the reasons mm -hmm. you were just talking about, where they're buying back their own stock, and there's other reasons with the the good economic news that's coming about, and then that battle that we talked about in last week's vlog, you know, the ten year uh, Treasury yield, uh, you know, around that three percent mm -hmm. range battling the dividend yield of stocks, where will that battle take us? Yeah, big focus on the Fed for sure. Yeah, and then, you know, more and more the increase or percentage of, of opinions that is that we will see interest rates go up later this year. But is it enough to, to hold the economy back based on the momentum Bobby and you are talking about? Uh, 
That'd be a tough yeah, call. Not we, yet. Oh, yeah. Rates haven't gotten to the pain point mm-hmm. yet. So on that note, we will keep you uh, updated. We appreciate you having us in your home and office. We like these kind of dialogues and really appreciate the emails that you send us and the phone calls to continue the discussion from these blogs. We hope you have a great week and we'll keep you informed.